What's up, Epic Gamers? Welcome back to the domain. You may notice that uh, my room is currently a complete shambles. We've stripped down all the wallpaper. There's literally nothing left other than this one desk. But I thought I'd try a new format today. I'm experimenting with some new content and it might lead to some new channels. We're gonna see. But today I'm gonna share some really fun news that I have with you guys. And if you stick it to the end of the video, there's some really crazy nostalgia involved. Uh, some really cool stuff. So this news comes from Mega Constructs News. It's the number one news source for Mega Constructs, Mega Mega Blocks on the internet, on Instagram and Twitter mostly, and they share all the latest stuff. I'm talking new releases across all the franchises and so much more, and we're going to get into some of that cool stuff later. So they shared something that I thought was really interesting. First of all, this is the Pixel Pokemon range. It's the brand new, like, line from Mega around Pokemon, and listen, I'm going to talk about Pokemon in depth in the future. If you're still hating on Pokemon for taking up, like, shelf space from Halo, it's just the wrong attitude, okay? Pokemon is saving Mega at the minute. The reason Halo is not on store shelves is because retailers aren't buying it, and what we want is for the brand to succeed and continue, and the best way of doing that is with Mega Pokemon. So, they've released a new range, Pixel Pokemon, and these things are dope. I absolutely love them. They're available in quite a lot of retailers, particularly quite a few retailers in the UK as well right now, so you can buy them right now. And I saw them in Mega's office back in July. They have a really interesting way of like assembling the pixels and a really cute like color chart. They're awesome. Like I cannot wait to actually have some of these myself. If I'd had these when I was young, my goodness, I would have bought the entire Pokemon range when I was a kid. Let me tell you that for certain. So they, uh, they I've seen these in person. And they are very cool, but there's a feature that I didn't know about until now, or at least I knew a bit about it, but I didn't know the details, and now I know this kind of changes the game. And I'm not really being overdramatic here, like, it's a really dope feature that I'm really hoping Mega releases on its own because it would do so well with Halo and so many of the, uh, the other lines. Uh, first of all, oh, second of all, I guess, uh, Beatles, it, this is out now. I've still not done a reaction to it because I have an official one with Mega. I'm just waiting for clearance on that. But ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles, it's got light up displays. And I want to talk about that in the future as well because the light up features on these, these are actual mega LED spotlights. You could do a lot with these with Halo if you had a creative custom build. I'm looking at you, um, Shere Khan Industries. So I'm getting to my point here. The mega pixel Pokemon can be wall mounted and that's a big deal, right? We've never seen this piece before. This is like an official mega wall mount and you could do so much with this. So I'm actually really excited about the possibilities. I'm really hyped that they actually made this piece because I've wanted, let me tell you, when my room is not an absolute disarray, I have wanted to mount mega on the walls forever. I used to try and do it with Halo. I used to get base plates and stick them on the walls and then get pegs to put the Halo in, but it was always super clunky. This is a way that you can actually do it properly. And again, I want Mega to release this piece. I want them to send me a hundred of this piece, please. I would love to do some things with it. But yeah, it's like, it's kind of like a take on the, um, the piece separator, except it's for wall mounting and it actually shows you how to do it right here. Look at that. So you literally insert a nail into this. Why no one has, I've never seen this done in the mega community before. Like I've never seen someone literally, do, I mean, you could do it with any piece. You could just stick a nail through it, but this is an official, it's got a hole. It shows you how to do it. And then you can mount your Pikachu or whichever pixel Pokemon or whichever mega, uh, you know, set onto the wall. And I just think that opens up so many possibilities for the future. Uh, you know, this is the mega pixel Pokemon range. Uh, they're actually available at Argos if you want them in the UK and Amazon, so just go get them. I do need a whole collection, and I've got something else to show you that is really cool, just one second. Um, and I thought, I, you know, I just searched around Halo Mega Constructs, and I, I, I thought I'd think about what would look good, or what would actually be successfully mounted on the wall. One of the things that I thought would look really dope is any of the Halo Mega Hornets, right? Because Hornets, I don't know, they kind of have this really nice symmetry to them, and they have uh, basically a flat base to them, 
and I could just imagine, like, I would love to see people do this in the future, where they have, like, a wall of all of the hornets. Like, you could do generationally mounted hornets all across. It would be so sick. Like, it would be so sick. Yeah, occasionally they might fall off if you slam the door too hard. Like, I'm not sure about the durability of these. The thing about Mega is the quality of pieces and, um... The quality of how the pieces lock together has just improved exponentially over time. They used to be really bad back when Halo Mega released, so I'm not going to try and mount an original Hornet to the wall, but these newer Hornets uh, would actually, I think they'd look really dope. Like, look at that. That even has a little uh, base stand that you could you could help um, attach it to. Shout out to Podcast Evolved. Um, yeah, I thought the helmets would be dope because they literally have, like, a, a piece, uh, like back to them like this the display diorama piece uh, is the back of the helmet and I also want to talk about um, that this is why I'm trying this format because there's a lot of things I want to just talk about to camera while scrolling through the internet and I've got my brand new Mac now so I can actually handle it the same the way that I can handle live streams once this room is back um, yeah I would love, I, I, like, I set a challenge. If anyone ever, if, like, any of my subscribers ever show me a picture of them using these wall mounts to mount an entire set of those helmets to the wall, or even if they send me a picture of just mounting those helmets to the wall, I will send you a goodie bag. Like, that sounds amazing. I would love to see that. Um, and, of course, the buildable helmet. Like, if you were able to manage to, like, I think you'd have to modify it slightly. You'd have to, like, yeah, it's... There's not really um, a, a brick uh, section, a stud section at the very back where you could attach it to, but I'm sure the uh, creative community out there could figure something out. Oh, that's actually really cool. Is that all the different helmets? That's the original Halo 4 one. Oh, look at that right down to, that's actually really dope. I love that. Um, yeah, I just wanna make videos scroll on the internet just talking about uh, Halo Mega. And um, before I get into this really cool bit of throwback lore, this is not the first time Pixel Pokemon have existed. A lot of people don't know, but Halo, oh, sorry, not Halo, Mega Bloks actually owned the Pokemon license or had the Pokemon license back in 2004 and 2005. Most of their set releases were in Japan only, but they did release this. This is literally the original Pixel Pokemon. Like, this is the same thing. It's it's the Pixel Pokemon. Like, I couldn't believe my look when I scored this on the internet and they released both both a Pikachu and a Charizard. And look at the original Ash Ketchum, like, that's nostalgia, man. That's not the nostalgia I referred to at the beginning of the video, I got a homepage to show you, but I managed to score both of them. The original Pixel Pokemon, it's so badass. Like, I'm so happy I've got those. I'm gonna make some video, let me know if you'd like to see them in the future. But the website I really wanted to share with you today is, um, this year actually marks uh, the 15th anniversary of the Halo Mega Partnership, which is crazy. It was actually on um, February 4th, uh, as Mega Constructs News shared. And this is an original website listing from 2009, so 15 years ago. Mega Brands and Microsoft Game Studios enter into global licensing partnership for Halo Wars. Because remember, when they originally had the license, it was for Halo Wars, and then they expanded it to Halo the Authentic Collector Series, and then to Halo Mega Blocks, and Halo Mega Constructs, and Halo Mega. It's been a long time. Mega Brands Inc. is thrilled to announce today that it has entered into a global licensing agreement with Microsoft Game Studios to develop construction toys based on its much anticipated new game Halo Wars. So this was before Halo Wars had actually come out. A real-time exciting strategy game based on the legendary Halo R universe. The agreement was brokered by 20th Century Fox licensing and merchandising licensing agent for the Halo franchise. Interesting. Under the global agreement, Mega Brands will develop the first ever construction toy sets based on the key characters and vehicles of Halo Wars under the Mega Bloks umbrella. The video game will be available at retailers worldwide in early 2009. The Mega Bloks licensed product offerings will make their retail debut worldwide in the summer of 2009. We're excited to have this exclusive opportunity to partner with Microsoft and 20th Century Fox licensing and merchandising and build on the immersive success of the Halo franchise, said Vic Burt. No, nah, Ber Bertard, uh, Chief <laughs> Innovation Officer of Mega Brands. We look forward to bringing the iconic characters and vehicles of the Halo video game to life through Mega Blocks. We consider Mega Brands to be one of the premium leaders in the construction or constructible toys and games category. Their reputation for creativity and innovation is inspiring, and we look forward to seeing it applied to the legendary Halo franchise. 
it's just really dope to uh, think of the history behind this, that we are now 15 years into the partnership between Halo and Mega. And I wanna do a lot more videos celebrating that partnership and celebrating the 15th anniversary this year, and you'll see more content about that coming soon. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, sneak peek into something. It's a bit of everything, this video. It's me testing a new formula that I would like to roll out into a lot more discussion videos, and it's showing something that I think is a really cool, innovative move by Mega. I mean, they now have wall-mounted sets, and I would love to see the possibilities, and I would love to hear the possibilities down in the comments down below. Let me know what you think they could do to innovate further. And big shout out to Mega Constructs News as always. We got tons more to share with you soon. The Domain signing off.